Uh, my name is Andrew Loki. I am the musical director, choir director of the St. Leonard's Hundred Boys Choir. And uh, the choir would have participated um, many years ago in the NIFCA uh, Performing Arts um, Competition, or well, program. We, at that time when we entered, the choir was just about, it was the inception of the choir, the choir was just about to begin and we needed to kind of put the choirs, um, the choir out there. And NIFCO was one of those um, programs and one of those options that we, 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 we looked at because the program offered a means of not only the choir getting to sing and to perform and to you know, put themselves up there, but we had the opportunity obviously of getting feedback too from a judging panel. Uh, persons who were, you know, obviously, you know, at the height of their powers who could possibly say to us, okay, this is good, that is not good. Um, sometimes it's good as a, for me as a director, sometimes it's good to have other persons coming in because sometimes we hear what, we hear this about the choir, but then when somebody else comes, they might hear something a little bit different. Um, so for me, NIFCO was, also, but was, a, was, a, was kind of a, a, a tool used to get some feedback as to how we could improve as a group. So for us, the main thrust of, the, um, of entering NIFCO was exposure and positive exposure at, at that. Um, was it a positive one for us? Of course it was. Um, we would have won many gold war awards, many incentive awards. Um, as the group, the group would have entered NIFCA on two occasions, two separate occasions, and uh, all of those occasions were we were, we were well received. Um, and in some measure, some 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 way, we have we owe a lot of the I don't like to use the word fame, but to, uh, a lot of um, who we are to that exposure we had at NIFCA because um, persons would have gotten to see the choir um, and would have gotten to know what we are capable of. Um, and then I would imagine that the NCF, they themselves would have promoted the choir in a very, very large way. So we all know of things like AGT and um, BGT, America Got Talent, uh, Britain Got Talent. And I, I think we, we were doing NIFCA a long time before these things existed. And I, I think I think countries, generally speaking, um, need to have something like this, some performing art, some, some, some place where they can showcase um, what, the, what the people of their country can do. And, and of course, to, to showcase it at the highest level they possibly can. And, and, and clearly, NIFCA is one of those, those, um, those uh, I, I keep saying competition, but really it's not, it's, it's not really a competition. It's one of those, those, those programs, I got the program, where one can get, um, one can see uh, progress. Because certainly when one enters the preliminary stage, um, one is told, you know, about what is good and noble about what you're doing and, and certainly where you can tweak and whatever the case may be. And persons seek then by the semi-final stage to improve on what they, what, what they did in the, in the preliminaries. And then clearly by the time you get to the finals, you want to be at a different level. And anything like that, I am, I, I am all for because it, it is not that one-off shot thing. It gives you a chance to, as a group, work on tweaking certain things to make sure that you are at a different level, a higher level, by the time you reach another, you know, the, the, the final aspect of, of, of that. So we see the process happening with the, with the performers. Because of our success in, 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 with, the, with the NIFCA Performing Arts, we were able to sing across this country for many uh, functions after that. Because obviously once we had the exposure, there were a number of persons who would call. To this day, we get so many calls to be part of, let's say, independent celebrations or this hotel wanted us to sing for this event that they had and what's not. So again, once we demonstrated some measure of excellence, then persons recognized it and we became almost instantaneously, I would say, um, a household name. And, and so that 
again our start, the start of the St. Anderson Boys Square, was, it came at the, um, NIFCO played a very big role in that, in us obviously getting ourselves out there in, into, the, into the public. Um, so I think for me, the most positive thing coming out of NIFCO is that NIFCO kind of helps us to celebrate who we are and in a very, very excellent way. One moment that I think it will be indelibly planted in my mind and in the minds of many young know, men for forever was possibly the first time we entered the stage of NIFCO. Now, that was at Common Air School. We were singing two songs, God and God Alone and uh, For the Beauty of the Earth. <laughs> and I remember our then principal, now, the God and God Alone was the full choir, so they were at their full powers. All, almost 100 of them were on the stage. And uh, then for the, for the Beauty of the Earth, we only used, I said, probably about 25 students. And I, I know that our principal was a little bit concerned about that because he was probably saying, oh, why, why so many? And then the second song for the beauty of the earth was, it, it, it's, it's a classical piece, but it's also a kind, almost like a hymn. So it's not as go get them as God and God alone. God and God alone ends on a wonderful high A and everybody, you know, people love to hear a song that really goes somewhere. It goes towards the light. I, I like to say, for example, and it ends on a very, very high note. And then when you have, just the look of almost a hundred boys dressed well and singing well and it, it, it does something to you. So I knew that for me, even before the boys could utter a word on the stage of, 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 of Nifka uh, on, at Kamamir School, there was, there were persons standing, there were persons shouting their names. I cannot express and I, I'm normally <laughs> fairly good at expressing myself but I cannot express to you the feeling that I had and certainly these young men had in hearing people chant their names well their name because it's a collective chant their name and the level of not only respect but the fact that people wanted to hear them so even before they uttered their uttered a word the pride that Barbadians had in seeing young men do something positive and do it excellently was, it was something out of this world. And that was definitely one of those moments where, where you know, we were singing, but if you ask me to recall if they sang anything, any wrong notes or right notes, I, I can't possibly tell you. But I, all I know is that I felt as the song God and God, God Alone grew, as it crescendoed, for lack of a better word, I, I felt almost lifted off to that stage. And when, I remember when they finished singing God and God Alone, it, the, the, the applause was not immediate. There was a hush in that, 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 that audience. And then there was the most thunderous applause and, and standing ovation that I think the choir has ever gotten. And it was almost like a culmination of you started something and then by the time you got to, and you know all of the, it was like it, what we had gone through from the time, from, from the beginning of the choir to that point in time, you, you, you started, the middle was kind of, you know, like, are we going in the right direction? But then when it ended, it was like, oh my word, did we just do this? Because of that experience and because of that connection, they were then able, I saw marks getting better in class. I saw more confident children. I saw more persons who were, who were willing to put in the effort because you see, you see this, the, the good old added success breeds success. And because they were able to have this experience, I feel like, I do, I, I, I am, I, I keep saying feel, but I'm now confident that, you know what, in large measure that, that experience, because I mean, it, it, it just takes an experience. That experience was able to, they were able to then, you know, translate into other things, you know, it's like, it's almost like, hey, fucking, I can believe in myself now. You know, I've done this and I've done it by dint of hard work and therefore why not try it with something else and see how, 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 how that happens, yeah? If you're looking to get your music out there, it's, it might be an original song, it might be um, some piece, some group that is saying, okay, we, we, we just practice at church, you know, a little, you know, in the church on, on, on Saturdays and we're not sure, whatever. I think that enter, the, enter NIFCA because you're going to have persons there um, who are going to 
be able to say to you, okay, you are point you in the in, okay, this is you're going in the right direction. Probably you might want to try this and what's not. I think sometimes we gotta put ourselves out there so that you know we can we can see where our talent lies and where, where we can get possible guidance for that. I think that NIFCA has done a fantastic job in getting us to see um, persons, showcasing persons um, who have, you know, talents and not only showcasing them but also rewarding them for said talent and encouraging them to even go beyond, beyond that. So for me, it, it will be a, you, you start, it's a start, but then that start can lead to some, some, some really fantastic things. 50 years we celebrate, patron talent on display, let we hit the NIFCA stage, let we hit the NIFCA stage.